Where are we going today? <laughs> going right back to where we just came from. Scenic tour. <laughs> You've been doing this all week? Yep. Yeah. There's worse things out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've done them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. It's the Motor Trend 4x4 of the decade. There's Jeep Wrangler uh, Sport, Sahara, and then Rubicon. So it's the top level of trim. It's also the most off-road capable. Most off-road capable. That's right. Of all the Jeeps. So. Wow. And a lot of people think of any car, any new car out there on the market. So this has got locking differentials, front and rear, a disconnecting front sway bar. Both those things are controlled from inside the car right over here. I got two buttons for the diff locks and the disconnecting sway bar. I got 32 inch BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. We got Dana 44 half ton axles front and back. And a different four wheel drive system. It's the only Jeep with the rock track four wheel drive system. It's a four to one transfer case. So it's actually geared lower than a Sport or Sahara right now. This one's a five-speed automatic. You can also get a six-speed manual. I have it in four low around the entire course, and I can select my gear by moving this back and forth. We just leave it in first gear. Four low the whole way. Yeah. Um, Put a little bit of sand on the ground. Yeah, right? Turns. Do you happen to know what the gas temperature is between the manual and the automatic? It's like one mile per gallon. It's really, it's a very, yeah, yeah the, the new automatic transmissions are very efficient. Um, so I, it's it's like one one MPG, if that. So this is 35 degrees here. So I'm obviously four low first gear. I'm at like 1200 RPM right now. You know, it doesn't have to work very hard. Is that green on the tack right there? Yeah. That's where, that's your torque range in four low. It's where you want to be. So if I go above that, uh, I want to shift to second gear, you know, if that's the speed I want to be at. Yeah. So on the way down, I don't need to use my brakes at all because of the low gears and the fact that I'm in four low over in first. This is coasting. No. No, that is, I will have to say I've never been on any climb like that. <laughs> it's fun, right? I mean, it's the most, it's the most I've ever been able to go through a lot of snow. Yeah. Rock back and forth a little bit. I do have that front sway bar disconnected, so that basically gives you about 25% more travel on your front suspension. Oh. Really, just allows the suspension to work to its full potential. So here we go. A big part about that is when I get up on here, none of my tires come off the ground. Yeah, you know what? I saw the one tire. It was. Uh... Like the, the front tire was off the ground? On the grand chair. On the grand oh, chair. Maybe it was, yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah. What's so, it move? The back one was. The reason that happens is that's, well, that's got a fully automatic transfer case that can transfer power to different wheels. So that car can kind of get away with it. Um, this car is a true mechanical four wheel drive. There's no computers telling the car what to do. It's me, you know? So I've got a mechanical transfer case shifter. So you got two drive wheels. So you don't want to pick any wheels up off the ground. It's front, right, rear, left, four wheel drive. So. But if you get with the Rubicon, if you get in trouble with those two wheels, then you lock the diffs up and you're 